Hey, uh, some of you might know me. Most of you probably don't. I'm Jordan's mom. And this is going to be a response video, but it's going to be a little bit of some other stuff too. So just bear with me and I promise I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. One of the things that I've always taught Jordan is to take up for himself, take up for others, always look out for somebody that's smaller than you or weaker than you, and to be their champion, you know, um, to, to, to feel empathy for other people. And, you know, there's a lot of people that, that don't understand that. They don't feel any kind of empathy for others. They can't put themselves in somebody else's position and say, you know, that would really make me feel bad. But Jordan does that, and he does that a lot. Um, and if you're his friend, then you're his friend. And he is loyal, and he will fight off dragons for you if that's what he needs to do. Um, I would have to say that if I could only have one friend in the world, it would, I would want Jordan as my friend because... He loves his friends and he takes up for them and he looks out for them. And he doesn't like to see other people getting slighted. And in that same vein, he doesn't like getting slighted. He doesn't like for people to say and do mean and hateful things and them just get away with it and him not be able to speak about it in some way. So for all of the naysayers and people that have said that Jordan should not have made a rant video or said some of the things he did or brought up some of the things that he did. Well, here's the thing. I encourage Jordan to speak up and to speak out and to take up for himself and to take up for other people. And if you have a problem with that, then that's too bad because he's not gonna stop. The latest rant video that he made, he did not use names because the last time that he made a rant video, he did use people's names. And I have to say, I told you so. You don't, you don't do that. Um, when you use people's names, they wanna get all butt hurt because they know they did things. They know what they did. Um, but then they want to throw around words like lawyers and suing and no, oh, the police and all this kind of stuff. When in actuality, the people that are wanting to get these lawyers probably haven't paid them from the last time they had to get them out of jail. So they probably can't afford a lawyer, but that's neither here nor there. Um, my problem is with the fact that there are certain people that don't understand why this situation that happened back in September still bothers Jordan. Well, the fact of the matter is, it still bothers me. I still feel that Jordan's voice didn't get heard the way it should have been. I still feel that he was um, very, done very wrong. Um, there were so many things that should have been handled differently. And if it had been handled adultly and differently with some common sense and decency, then none of this would have ever happened. I'm going to uh, show a clip from a, a certain event that happened. And once you see this clip, then I will present you some more things. And hopefully this will all come together and you'll kind of understand a little bit more why this incident was handled so badly and needs to be rectified. The number one objective that I have in making this video I want an apology 
to my son. And you know who you are. You know that you did wrong. And you know that you need to apologize because you're a grown up or you claim to be. Okay? You and your little buddy both need to apologize to Jordan in public, out in the open. Not some little let's be secret friends and not tell big bad daddy. Okay, we're not doing that anymore. There needs to be an apology. It needs to be public apology. And then this needs to be done and settled and over with. So let's go and see this clip now. Jordan Little. I'm uh, 24 years old, uh, born on July 29th, 1995. I live in Gaffney, South Carolina. Um, I'm the son of a, you know, pastor of a, you know, Bigger Baptist Church, and I'm also born again Christian, Independent Baptist as well. And uh, what would I do with my money? I would probably uh, use it for the right causes instead of selfishness, like all the other people in the world. Very. So that's the clip of the show that Jordan was a part of. And after it was over, he wrote this person who he apparently thought was his friend to ask about how his performance was. And what followed was just complete ridiculousness. So as you can see, I've blocked out some things to where you can't see names and who's who because we don't want to upset anybody else. But basically, this is a... Uh, message uh, Jordan asking this person what he thought of the performance and the person responding with what appeared at first to not quite be so bad but then it kind of gets a little crazy just keep reading so it starts out innocent enough him quoting Jordan what would I do with my money I would probably use it for the right causes instead of Selfishness like all the other people in the world. That is by far one of the most offensive things I've ever heard anyone say. I have to stop right there and just say, are you kidding me? You've never heard anybody use the N-word? I mean, that is one of the most offensive things you've ever heard? You've been living under a rock, dude. Anyway, like I said, I didn't want to screw up the quote. I had to go back and make sure I had it right. And then Jordan says... You know, what's wrong with me saying for the right causes? Did I say all the people around the world? I said all the other people in the world. Not everyone in general. I don't think everyone is selfish. There have been some out there that abuse their money and don't think right. And that should have been sufficient. But no. Of course, that wasn't enough. So then this person comes back and says, You said, quote, instead of selfishness like all the other people in the world, the language speaks for itself, like you're the only righteous one and the rest of us are selfish. Jordan says, I didn't say I was righteous. I didn't say anything wrong. What are you playing at here? Even the host said most people, maybe to help correct myself too. Do you ever thought about that? Then the guy says, yeah, at least he got it right. Most people, you said all the other people in the world, don't try to argue with me on this one because this is one argument you will never win. And then this is all about how he makes it all about him. Very narcissistic. Um, and how he's an innocent victim and people have just done nothing but hurt him his whole entire life.
conversation turn changes right here because Jordan decided to send screenshots of what was going on to someone who's closer to this guy, uh, hoping that maybe he would be able to make things better or uh, help smooth things over. Because as far as he's concerned and I'm concerned, he didn't do anything wrong. And of course, that guy turns right around and calls or messages the older one to let him know what's going on. And before you know it, things just really went south. Out of this whole conversation, this is the one thing that I'm upset about with Jordan. And that's the fact that he felt he had to apologize to these bullies for saying something, just some random something right off the cuff that didn't even mean anything, and yet it got that far. And so then the next thing we know, this shows up on the Discord server that Jordan was a part of that he's hereby banned from this server due to unprofessional and offensive behavior. Didn't even happen on the Discord server. Didn't have anything to do with that, but he got kicked off. This is the Discord server rules and the consequences. The consequences strike one, verbal warning. Strike two, one month suspension from the server. Strike three, permanent ban from the server. Things didn't go down like that, though. See, we skipped over strike one, skipped over strike two, and we skipped straight to three. Now, if you're not even going to follow your own rules, why have any? So Jordan goes back to the guy who actually runs this Discord server, and he... Pretty much tells him, you know, too bad, sucks to be you. Um, I don't have to explain anything, even though later in a voice recording that I have, um, he says he was asleep when all of that went on. And so he wasn't sure what at all had happened and he didn't want to take sides. But yet he clearly, clearly took this other guy's side immediately without ever even knowing what all had been said or done. Okay, I just have to say, I, I this, this part right here where the one guy says, I don't want you telling anybody about this situation. The situation is over and done with and any retaliation will result in appropriate action. Well, guess what, buddy? This is my appropriate action, okay? Because you don't just dump on my kid and then tell him to move on with his life. <laughs> It don't work that way. A couple of weeks after this happened, uh, Jordan decided to do a rant video and word got back to these two gentlemen that this was happening and a mutual acquaintance decided to uh, mediate between Jordan and the game show host and we see that uh, he decided he wanted to keep a, a secret friendship and there was a a, a, a phone call um, that they had and I have a voice recording of that if anybody needs to hear this where um, the game show guy decides to uh, admit that he felt that he'd been brainwashed um, and that there was too much banning of people going on and a lot of other things that he probably doesn't want to admit to now. But anyway, um, my whole point in this is to, to show that there are reasons for everything. 
that Jordan does, whether it's a rant video or whatever. He doesn't just do things for no reason. And I back him, no matter what he does. Also, um, I want to point out and to show people that he was done wrong. If you can't see by seeing all of this that he was done unfairly, then you need to get your eyes checked. Um, and, you know, just a little shout out here. You can rebrand and rename, but it doesn't take away from things that you've done. And when you've done wrong, you need to make things right. And so I would work on that part of my life this year. Um, Y'all have a good night, good evening, good day, whatever time it is where you're at. God bless.